Scott Simons, and welcome to The Secret Ingredient. Smoked paprika, you ever heard of that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that all about? Uh, it's the peppers that have been dried and smoked and powdered. You ever used it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. pimenton. Yeah. Smoked paprika, otherwise known as pimenton. Smoked paprika. I have not. I've heard of paprika, paprika but yeah. not smoked paprika. The smoked paprika sound interesting? It does sound interesting. Welcome to Seattle. We're here at the beautiful Roosevelt Square store, and I'm here with Brian Zupon. But hey, Brian, how are you? Nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you. Uh, Brian's actually not a chef. He's a student, and you're a student at? I'm a student at Duke University. I'm okay. a senior uh, majoring in uh, economics and history. OK, but he cooks because he loves it, right? I do love it. I run a kind of underground dining club uh, out of my apartment. I've been doing that for the past couple of years. Yeah, and you've been written up in a few publications. And yeah. Had, some, had a little notoriety for this, Yeah, right? a little bit of notoriety, for sure. OK, so what's the first thing we're going to cook? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, braise off some short ribs. And uh, to do that, we're first going to brown them. So what we have okay. here is about a pound of beef short ribs. So maybe if you want to season those for me with sure. some salt and some pepper. Sure. I'll add some oil uh, to this pan that we got going. Both sides or is that all right? Uh, that should be fine. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add these short ribs to this uh, hot pan. We're going to brown them for about two minutes per side. Okay. Our secret ingredient today is uh, smoked paprika and it's an awesome ingredient. It is. It is, it is a beautiful ingredient and it is uh, essentially the same pepper the uh, pimenton pepper from uh, Spain, and the peppers are smoked before they're ground. So they're browning very well, and it looks mm -hmm. like they're almost ready to come off. Yeah. yeah, we'll just take off the short ribs, put them on this plate now that we've got a nice golden brown on beautiful, them. Beautiful, and beautiful. And then from there, we're going to lower the heat. OK. OK, so you've, you've poured off the oil, and now we need to throw in our aromatics. Yes, yeah, so, okay. so we got about a quarter cup of celery, about a quarter cup of onion, and a quarter cup of carrot. So okay. we can just dump just these in dump here. Them in. You can help me out with that. Happy and to do it. we also have some garlic okay. as, as well, throw about a in. clove or so. And this is now cooking over low heat, uh, but there is a, a lot of heat still in the pan. Yeah, residual heat, okay. So we'll just kind of cook these for maybe two to three minutes uh, just so that they kind of uh, start to soften and begin to turn golden around the edges. Maybe okay. we'll season it a, a bit, so maybe we could just hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Sure. How's and that? Is that okay? That, that's great, and maybe just one grind of pepper. About like that? Yep. So okay. we can uh, turn up the heat a bit, maybe to medium, medium high. All right. And then we can uh, add in a, a little bit of thyme, a bay leaf, Okay, so you just want to take it off the... Don't even have it? to do that. Just you can just it. Okay. drop it right in there. Super. Drop in the bay leaf. Okay. And maybe if you can ha hand me the pimenton, please. So what we're like looking at here is maybe, ooh, about a half teaspoon or, or so. This is mm -hmm. a little bit more than that. Half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Okay. And what we have here is just the basic cola. We're going to use maybe about four to six ounces, so, it, so about half a can. Okay. And then a cup of dry red wine, and if okay. you want to I'll throw that in add you. that in there. So what we're going to do is now we're just going to bring the heat up to high, bring it to a boil, then we'll add the short ribs back, put it in the oven at 350 for about two hours or so, uh, and then we can kind of build the rest of the dish. So you want them basically okay. to cook until they're just yes. falling apart tender? Yes, cook till they're very, very tender, and then okay. that's going to form the base. So we've got our uh, short ribs braising in the oven, and uh, that takes a little while, and you've got some other stuff you're going to cook for us. So what are we doing? Yeah, we're going to work on the vegetable part of this dish right now. So uh, I'm going to start off by uh, cutting this cauliflower into about uh, half inch uh, thick bite sized pieces and okay. maybe if I could just ask you to maybe put these mushrooms onto the sheet pan we have and season them with uh, a little bit of this grapeseed oil, some of the soy sauce and some salt. So just drizzle it on yes. and call it good? Exactly. Okay. So these are uh, Japanese mushrooms? Yes, Japanese maitake mushroom and and when we roast them with the soy sauce uh, it gets a lot of kind of rich, concentrated yeah, kind of flavor. concentrated umami flavor. Super. A little bit of salt, yes. Okay. But with the soy, I bet it doesn't take much, right? No, 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 not at all. And so while you're finishing that, mm -hmm. uh, and then if you could just add a little bit of pepper to that too, uh, what we have here is about four ounces of cauliflower, and then I'm going to season them uh, with just a little bit of salt, pepper, uh, and the grapeseed oil. Okay. And then we're going to roast it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes at about uh, 450 degrees. I'll let you do that first, because then the pepper will adhere. Yes, it will. 
And then, yeah, so once again, these will go in the oven at about 450 for about 20 minutes or so. Nice golden brown on the cauliflower and mm -hmm. crispy edges on they the mushrooms. They look beautiful. So just put these over here. Yep. And then uh, what we've also done is we've taken out the braised short ribs uh -huh. and we've uh, let them actually chill. So we've th then we actually took the meat off the bone and chopped it up. Okay. Then we took the braising liquid and added it to this pan. Now we're going to sear these scallops in there. So okay. maybe if you just want to season them uh, with some salt. Yep. Seems to be my job of the day. Yeah, well. Somebody's got to do it. You're very helpful. Thank okay. you for that. And then also uh, both sides too, if you don't mind. Oh, both sides. Yes. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to add some grapeseed oil to this pan, and we want it to be quite hot because we want to get a pretty hard sear on these scallops. So you, you use grapeseed oil, and the reason you prefer it is because it has a higher burn, burn yeah, temperature? Yeah, it, it has a higher smoke point, and uh -huh. it's very neutral flavor, so it doesn't taste oily. These are going to cook for about two minutes uh, on the first side un until we see a nice, uh, nice kind of foxy golden brown. Yeah. So that's what we're, what we're looking that's for, that, kind of that nice golden brown right Absolutely there. Absolutely beautiful. So we're ready to plate it yes, up. Yes, we All are right. going to plate this dish now. So what we do is we actually start with a small spoonful of this braised short rib mm -hmm. in the bottom of the plate. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to be taking our cauliflower mm -hmm. and laying one piece on top of the braised short rib. Okay. This actually kind of acts as a base for our scallop. Yeah. Then we take some of the mushrooms and kind of sprinkle them off to the side. And then this is a nice kind of textural uh, kind of like contrast for this yeah. dish. And then with, once we're finished with that, we just have about maybe a teaspoon or so of the reserved braising liquid it just goes on top of the dish. And it adds this kind of like nice like sheen on the scalp. Nice, and beautiful. Then, here you go, here's a fork for you. Thank you. And a knife, sir. Thank you. So what was the inspiration for this one? Is this just something that you just kind of threw together and it I mean, worked, or to, where'd it come from? To be honest, it's a kind of new take on kind of surf and turf, but you get a lot of sweet and savory, as I kind of mentioned, and the kind mm -hmm. of smokiness, too. Mm -hmm. so. I'll be cooking this one at home. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank it's you. It's been fun, and uh, good luck with whatever you end up doing with food. All right, great. All Thank right. you so much. Thanks. I'm Haley at Whole Foods Market, Roosevelt Square, and you're watching The Secret Ingredients.